Hi, everybody. Can you guys hear me? Does somebody mind coming off mute and just letting me know if you can hear me? Yep, you're good. Great, thank you. Welcome, welcome. We're doing a power pyramid today. I'm so excited. Getting back to the that hit vibe in our classes. I'm gonna die. I, I think I might I think I might die a little bit too, but it's okay. I'm gonna give lots of modifications. I was thinking about doing this outside, and then I was like, <laughs> six degrees in Boston, team. I would recommend working out indoors. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna uh, share the playlist link in case you haven't gotten a chance to grab that. Um, in honor of Juneteenth, I've put together a special playlist that is all black artists. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Um, and I'm gonna read our disclaimer before we begin. So if you choose to exercise on any platform with Boston College and its affiliates, you do so at your own risk and acknowledge that there is an innate risk of injury when participating in any physical activity. Participation is voluntary and practice in a safe space suitable for this activity. Some practices may not be safe under certain medical conditions. You agree to consult a doctor if you have any medical concerns. If you experience any physical or emotional pain or discomfort, you will listen to your body, adjust the practice, and ask for support from a medical provider. You hereby agree to irrevocably release and waive any claims that you have now or hereafter may have against Boston College and its affiliates. You have read or listened to this disclaimer and have acknowledged it prior to participating in any activity. There's our disclaimer. Um, real quick, your equipment for today, this is all body weight, so please make sure that you have uh, a mat, got some water nearby and you have enough space to move around there's going to be impact there's going to be jumping um, I will give you options to take that out if you want the low impact version of the workout um, so one more time popping that playlist link into our group chat let's pull that up and we will get into this I'm gonna grab my phone So I'll give us a countdown, like three, two, one, play. And when I say play, that's when you want to hit that first song. Very first song is uh, Shawty Get Loose by Lil Mama and Chris Brown. It's a good jam to start with. All right, so three, two, one, play. And let's take it back to our mat for the warm up. All right, so we're gonna start by setting the feet outside the hips. You're taking your arms to your sides. Start by taking some small arm circles forward. Get bigger with each rotation. So tall, proud chest. Hitting some big circles here, waking up the shoulders. And now go back, small circles back. Get bigger with each rotation. Really trying to lengthen through the arms. Reach out to your sides. Hitting those big circles back and start by swinging the arms front to back, opening up through the chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind the back. We're gonna march our knees to our chest in three, two, one. Marching your knees up. So try to keep your posture tall and draw your quad up towards your chest. And when you're ready, let's add an upper body twist to this. Cactus the arms to the side. Bring your elbow across the body to meet the knee. Four, three, two, one. Open the gate. Swing that knee away from midline. Hit 90 degrees at the knee. Find your balance. Make this a big motion. One more on each side and reverse directions. You're closing the gates. Bring the knee in. We got jumping jacks. Three, two, one. Jack it out. Hands go all the way above the head. Feet go wide, heels to the ground. Think about taking up space with your jumping jacks. We got butt kickers coming up. Three, two, one, butt kickers. So we're basically running in place. Heels come up to the butt. I'm gonna show this from the side. Leaning slightly forward, tight core. You can stay here or level it up to high knee sprint in three, Two, one, can you level it up? High knee sprint. You can take your hands out at hip height and try to drive those knees up so your quads hit your hands. 
You're almost there. Squats are on deck. Three, two, one. Take your feet outside your hips. You squat, rise. Squat, rise. Sit the hips back. Trying to find some depth here. So at the base of your squat, your butt gets as low as your knee line. Coming up, we're gonna pulse this in three, two, one, pulse low, sink. All right, you got about 30 seconds left in this warm up. We're gonna hold the squat in three, two, one, hold your squat. Can you get one inch lower? Chest is lifted, hips go back, taking it to plank in three, two, one, plank, plant the hands. Finding that high plank position, it's a slow mountain climb. Right knee, left knee. You're almost there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Take it up to your feet. All right, so you should be warm. I want you to keep standing, keep moving, hydrate. I'm gonna show you all eight moves in the pyramid before we start, so that when we get our rest in the pyramid, I'm not absolutely dying. So keep moving. If you need to tap side to side, run in place, stay warm. So we got eight moves, 30 seconds per move. We add on one move for each level of the pyramid. We go all the way up to eight moves, we come down and drop moves off. 30 seconds to work, 30 seconds to rest. Move number one, four ankle taps into a burpee. Looks like this, one, two, three, four, burpee down, chest to floor. One, two, three, four, burpee down, chest to floor. All right, so you're slapping the inside of your ankle, burpee down. Ways to make it easier. Four butt kickers, plant the hands, walk your feet out, walk your feet in. So that's one way you can level this down. That's move one. Move two, surrender squats with a foot tap. They're surrender squats because your hands are behind your head, feet are outside of your hips. So we're gonna get low. It's one jump squat, foot shuffle. One jump squat, foot shuffle. So I take my squat, I tap my foot side to side, and I stay low. Ways to take out the impact, air squat, shuffle. Air squat, shuffle. Hands stay behind the head, it's gonna force you to keep your chest up. Third move, open stance, triple pulse lunge. So we start in a squat stance, and then we take one foot Slightly behind, you're gonna be on the ball of your foot. The back heel will be lifted. We're gonna pulse. Three, two, one, come to squat, switch. Pulse three, two, one, come to squat and switch. Look at my back heel, always lifted. That knee is tracking out to the side, same direction my toe is pointing. Triple pulse and switch. Move number four, we're gonna come down to the mat, plank jacks with shoulder taps. I'll show this from the side. Here's level one. You're gonna take plank jacks as you shoulder tap. So lifting one hand as you jack your feet side to side. How can you level it down? Tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder, jack, jack. Tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder, jack, jack. Another way to level down, tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder, step left, step right. So choose what works for you. You can take the cardio out of it. Move number five, we're gonna roll over to our back. It's a straight arm sit up with a reverse table reach. Feet planted, knees bent, straight arms. So it's a full sit up, plant the hands, lift to table, reach for left foot, roll down. Full sit up, plant the hands, reach for right foot, roll down. Some ways that you can make this movement a little bit easier are by taking out that reacher. So you can stick with a straight arm sit up. You can also take out the sit up and do just your reacher. So you have the option to split that apart and make it a different move if you'd like. Move number six is a candlestick roll up to chair pose. You need to get momentum for this one. So we're gonna start in chair. You need to make sure you have distance behind. We're gonna rock down on your butt. You're in chair pose, you're super low. Your feet are pretty close together. You're gonna roll, candlestick, come up, chair pose. Roll, candlestick, come up, chair pose, all right? The goal is to stay low in chair pose. 
If that's not feeling good for you, here's another option. Candlestick, hips up, and reach. Candlestick, hips up, and reach. We're gonna be getting into the abs with that movement. So you can also take out the chair pose. After that, move seven. It's a push-up, elbow plank to walk out. We'll be in high plank. We're gonna take one push-up. Walk down, elbow plank. Walk your elbows out, walk your elbows in, come back up. Push up, down to elbow plank, other side. Walk out, walk in, back to push up. Some ways to level that, take it from your knees. And our final movement is gonna be a crescent lunge plank hop. So we're gonna be in a crescent lunge from the side. This is our, your yoga move. It's a long lunge, hands are up, crescent lunge, Plant the hands, switch the feet. You can step between lunge or in this last move, if you still got some gas, you're gonna jump to switch the feet out. Make sure your hands are planted, using your abs to control your legs and float them back. Those are our eight. All right, we're gonna start four ankle taps, one burpee. Remember, 30 seconds each, and I'll remind you of how to level the moves. Get ready, four ankle taps, one burpee. We go in five. Gotta start that timer. Now you go in five. Three, two, one, go. So four ankle taps, burpee down. Can you get your chest to the floor between your hands? An option, you can take your four ankle taps and keep your chest high just popping out to high plank. For that challenge, can you drop the chest all the way to the floor? You can also take four butt kickers, be out and in. Three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds rest. We're adding on, hands behind the head. Remember, surrender jump squat, tap. Surrender jump squat, tap. Or air squat, tap. So you choose, do you want the impact or not? We got 15 more seconds of rest. Enjoy the rest here, because as we add levels, it gets harder. We start with that burpee move, then go to squats. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Four angle tops, burpee down. Make your burpee as quick as you can. So the goal is to get back to your feet, and stay light on the balls of your feet. Whether you're taking the ankle taps or the butt kickers. In 10 seconds, you transition. Surrender squat, shuffle the foot. Three, two, one. Switch it up, hands behind the head. One jump squat, tap the foot. One jump squat, tap the foot. Little shuffle. Stay low. Remember, you can take out that jump. Stand before the shuffle. 10 seconds, and then we rest. Two cardio moves to start your pyramid. Three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds, grab water if you need it. Move three, remember? Hands are on the chest, we're gonna start low. You're gonna take one foot behind you, on the ball of your foot, knee, and foot wide. Pulse three, two, one, and switch. Return to a squat between these lunges. They're offset to the side. Burpees in five. Three, two, one, let's go. Four ankle tops, burpee down. All right, so now we're really into the meat of the workout. You should feel your heart rate coming up. Make sure you hydrate between. If you need longer rest than I'm giving, you take it. Remember option, four butt kickers. Plant, walk out, walk in. You choose. Switching up to those squats. Three, two, one. Surrender squats. One jump squat, shuffle and tap. On the shuffle, you want your hips back, Butt low, can you keep the thighs parallel to the floor as you bring your feet together? In 10 seconds, we're gonna take 
that open stance, triple pulsing lunge on the ball of the back foot. Three, two, one. Hands at your chest, one foot back. Three, two, one. Come to squat, switch. Three, two, one. So the front foot is flat, the back foot, heel is lifted. Stay low. So we're gonna catch our breath here. We're gonna keep the burn in the lower body. You've got eight seconds. Come on team, rest is coming. Three, two, one, rest, grab your water. On deck, we're taking it to the mat. Plank jack with shoulder taps. Remember, the shoulder tap can be done as you jack your feet or you can break it apart. Ten seconds, keep moving those legs. Remember, we start with those burpees. Back to level one. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Four ankle tops, burpee down. When you take your burpee, hands just underneath your shoulders or a little bit wider. Fingers spread wide. When you come to your feet, you want to drive the floor away. You got 10 seconds. We take surrender squats with the shuffle next. Three, two, one. Switch it up, hands behind the head. One squat, shuffle the feet. Tapping side to side. So, we stay low, but we want to keep the pace up here. So I know it's two cardio moves in a row, but remember, the next move, no cardio. Can you push for seven more seconds? Open stance, triple pulse lunge. Three, two, one. Switch it up, stay low. Three, two, one. Stay low and switch. So it's almost like your quads are making a little bit of an L shape. One forward, one to the side, with the back heel lifted. You have 10 seconds. Pulsing three times at the base, stay low and switch. On deck, plank jack, shoulder tap, three, two, one. Take it down, shoulder taps with plank jacks if you can, or two shoulder taps, two plank jacks, or shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Step one leg, step the other. 15 to go, rest is next. Butt is low, hands over shoulders, eyes forward. You've got five, three, two, one, rest. So we're gonna add on, remember, flipping to your butt, straight arms, Feet planted, sit up, plant, lift the hips, reach left. Roll down, sit up, plant, lift, reach right. Option, just the straight arm sit up. Reaching with your fingertips. Burpees in five, three, two, one, let's go. Four ankle taps, four butt kickers, and burpee. Full body movement here. Working your legs, working your core, working upper body, and getting that heart rate up. That's how we start our pyramid. In 10 seconds, surrender squats with that shuffle tap. Three, two, one. Hands behind the head, get low. One jump squat, shuffle, or one air squat. Tap that foot. So you put all your body weight onto one side as you shuffle that foot. A little more time under tension and a little bit of a unilateral movement. On deck, open stance, triple pulse lunge. Three, two, one, stay low, take it back. Three, two, one, come center, switch. So you're almost opening up into a wide squat to the side. But your feet are doing different things. If your quads are burning, you are doing this right. 10 seconds, 
Then we'll take it down, plank jack with shoulder taps. Three, two, one, take it down. Can you take the jack with the shoulder tap simultaneously? That's your challenge. You are welcome to break it up. One tap, one tap, one jack, one jack. Do what works for you. On deck, straight arm sit up, reverse table reach. Five, three, two, one. To your butt. We roll up, plant, lift the hips, reach. Roll up, plant, lift the hips, reach. Those arms are straight, so you can take it right into your reverse table. We have 10 seconds, and then we rest. Just five, three, two, one, rest. We're gonna add on that candlestick roll up with a chair pose. Remember, chair pose, roll down, arms straight, legs up, chair pose. You might need to pop into it. You can also just take the candlestick, no chair. 10 seconds. We go in five, three, two, one, hit your burpee. Four ankle taps and to the ground. Now, if you hate burpees, the good news is you only have to do it two more times after this. This will be the first move to go. As we go down the pyramid, we drop off the moves from the front. Use your hip flexors to get the heel up high. Squats in three, two, one, hands behind the head. Squat, shuffle, tap. So even though you're fatiguing, I want you to fight for depth here. Make your jump squat explosive. If you're taking air squats, drive up from the heels fast. In 10 seconds, open stance, triple pulse lunge. You got five, three, two, one. Hands at the chest. Three, two, one, squat and switch. So an option here is to stand between reps to give your legs a break. But the challenge is staying low for the full 30. In 10 seconds, we take it down. Plank jacks with shoulder taps. Three, two, one, switch it up. To the mat, let's go. Can you tap the shoulders while you jack out the feet? It's really gonna work your core and your upper body in addition to getting your heart rate up again. Halfway, on deck, straight arm sit up to reverse table reach. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Flip it over, straight arms, roll it up, plant, hips lift, reach. So this is where we catch our breath before we go to our next cardio move. Full body movement here, we're working everything, but we're giving ourselves a chance to catch our breath and set up for this next move. Candlestick to chair, three, two, one, let's go. Candlestick, chair pose. You can use your arms to help you up into chair. Legs up, hips up, really reaching in chair pose. Option, just candlestick, plant the feet, and reach forward. So do what works for you. You have eight seconds. Staying low in chair. Three. Two, one, rest. Take it to your feet. We are gonna add on, it's a push up. Come down to elbow plank, walk the elbows out, walk the elbows in, come back up to high plank. Knees or toes. 10 seconds and then we hit our burpees. 
We go in five, three, two, one. All right, 10 alternate time right here with burpees. I might not be able to say it irrevocably, but I know what penultimate means. You got 15 seconds. In 10 seconds, we switch. Surrender squat, shuffle tap. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Hands behind the head. So we're keeping the chest up. Elbows wide to the side. Core turned on. Depth, range of motion. We get low and then we stand up quick. Halfway. Open stance, triple pulse lunge, on back. You got five, three, two, one. Hands to your chest. Pulse three, two, one, and switch. So by being on the ball of the back foot, we're engaging the back leg in a slightly different way. You might notice that the back leg gets a little shaky as you pulse. In eight seconds, we take it down, plank jack with shoulder taps. Three, two, one, switch it up to the ground. You can break them up. If doing the shoulder taps feels like too much, just plank jacks. You can step one foot at a time, side to side. 15. On deck, we flip it over. Straight arm sit up, reverse table reach. Three, two, one. Flip it over, feet flat, knees bent. Sit up, lift the hips, reach. So the goal here is to keep the pace up with this one. Rolling up and down through the spine and the sit up. Get the hips high as you lift and reach. You work triceps in the reacher. Candle roll up to chair. Three, two, one. Straight arms, straight legs, chair pose. Candlestick, woo! Chair pose. It's tough to get up into that chair if you don't use momentum and if you don't use your arms. Halfway. Toes close to the ceiling. Hips go high. Feeling your abs engage. On deck, push up, elbow plank, walk out. Three, two, one. So we switch, flip it over. One push up, down to the elbows, walk out, walk in, back to high plank. One push up to the elbows, other side. Walk out, walk in, back to high plank. You're changing up the arm that leads each rep. You got five, three, two, one, rest. Breathing here. We are about to add on our last move. It's that crescent lunge. Plant the hands, step back, step forward. Crescent lunge, plant, option. Just switch the feet with a hop. 10 seconds, hardest part of the pyramid coming up. We go in five, three, two, one, hit your burpees. This is perfect that we're on Sierra. Level up, because we are leveling up this pyramid and adding that eighth level. This is the final boss right here, 15. Try to keep your posture tall in your four heel taps. On deck, surrender squats. Three, two, one. Hands behind the head. Let's go. 30 seconds. Great news, team. No more burpees. That was it. That was your last time. We get low, we explode. Halfway. You know what's on deck. We're gonna burn out the quads, open stance lunge. 
five, three, two, one, hands to the chest. Let's go. Even though it burns, can you get lower? After this move, we move to upper body. So let's burn out the legs. They're about to get a rest. Coming up, we take it down. Plank jack with the shoulder tap. Catch your breath. We got five, three, two, one. Take it down. Find that high plank, shoulder tap, and plank jack. Break it up as you need to. If it's too much to move, hold the plank. You're halfway. On deck, straight arm sit up, reverse table reach. Eight seconds. Five, three, two, one. Flip it over. Straight arms, flat feet. Sit, plant, lift and reach. So, getting a little bit of a plateau here before we get that heart rate up again. Candlestick to the chairs coming up. Think about momentum. In five, three, two, one. Switch it up. Arms straight, legs up. Find that chair. Arms up, or legs up, and chair. Can you pause in that chair pose before you take it back down? Coming up, we flip over. Push up, elbow plank, elbow walk out. In five, three, two, one. Flip it over, plant those hands. One push up, down on the left, walk out the left, walk in the left, up on the left. Push up, down on the right, walk out the right, walk in the right, push up on the right. In 10 seconds, we switch into a crescent lunge with a plank. Three, two, one, switch it up. High plank, find your crescent lunge, plant the hands, hop or switch the feet. Use your abs, if you're hopping those feet, to float them. So you don't wanna slam your feet down, you want them to land gently by using your core to control the weight of your legs. Eight seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. You get one full minute of rest because we have hit the peak. Breathe. So we're going down. And this is good news, because it gets easier from here. We're more than halfway through. We peel off one move at a time. Still 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest. We're halfway through our rest right now. Make sure you're hydrating. We're starting with those surrender squats. Everything feels a little bit different on the back end because you don't have certain moves coming before. So these surrender squats, you're gonna feel different. You're gonna have more energy. In 15 seconds, we're gonna hit them. On your surrender squats, I want you to focus on getting low because it's your last time hitting these. We start up in five, hands behind the head, feet outside hips, three, two, one, get low, let's go. Surrender squat, shuffle tap. So we got that full minute to re-energize, catch our breath, hitting that reset button so we can focus in the back half of the workout. In 10 seconds, we're gonna take it to that open stance, pulsing lunge. Three, two, one, stay low. Pulse three, two, one, squat and switch. So when you come forward, see if you need to reset how low your butt is. If it's creeping up in the lunge, get low again when you return to the squat. In 10 seconds, plank jacks with shoulder taps. 
You've got five, three, two, one. Take it down. If you haven't tried the plank jack and the shoulder tap together yet, I want you to try two of them. See how it feels. So you're halfway. Resist the urge to look at your feet. Shoulders over wrists, butt low, eyes forward. On deck, flip into your butt, straight arm sit up, table reach. Three, two, one, flip it over. Straight arms, sit up, plant, lift and reach. So we're using the abs to roll us up, using the abs to lift the hips, and we use our obliques when we reach for that leg. In eight seconds, candle pin, chair pose. Three, two, one, switch it up. Straight arms, straight legs, plant, chair, rolling down. Remember your option, just the candlestick, play at the feet, and reach. So doing whatever you like, we wanna get that heart rate up again. In 10 seconds, flipping over, we've got a push up, elbow plank, elbow walk out. Three, two, one. High plank, one push up. Elbow down right, left, walk out right, left, walk in right, left, up right, left. Push up, do it on the left side. So let the left side lead everything, then let the right side lead everything. In 10 seconds, crescent lunge to a plank. Three, two, one. One foot forward, find your crescent lunge, plant. Can you hop the feet as you switch? If that's too much, you step them. Getting low, you should have a really long stance in your crescent lunge. In 10 seconds, we rest. If you haven't tried to hop yet, I want you to try it once on both sides. Three, two, one. Rest. Grab your water. So we start open stance triple pulse lunge. Fifteen more seconds of rest. The good news is we've got about thirteen minutes left in the whole pyramid. We're starting up open stance triple pulse lunge in five, three, two. One, let's go. Last time with these. So when I say get low, I want you to get low. So we're driving through the heel of the front foot and driving through the ball of the back foot. Control the bounce. It's a pulse. In five seconds, plank jack with shoulder tap. Three. Two, one, take it down. Let's go team. This is where we get up the heart rate. So when you plant the hand, make sure it's under the shoulder with the fingers spread wide. You've got 10 seconds here, and then we'll flip it over. Straight arm sit up, table reacher. Three, two, one, flip it over. Plant those feet, straight arms, sit up, plant, reach, and down. So as you reach, lengthening the leg, shifting your body weight to one side in that standing arm, and using your obliques to stabilize. In eight seconds, candlestick to chair pose. Three, Two, one, switch it up. Straight arms, legs up, chair. Rolling down, legs up, chair. You can use those arms to help you into chair pose. You can take it off completely. Do what is safe for your space. In 10 seconds, we flip over. Push up, elbow plank, 
elbow walk out. Three, two, one, flip it over. Fingers spread wide. Push up knees or toes. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Push up, lead the right side. Down, down, out, out, in, in, up, up. In 10 seconds, we hit our final move. Crescent lunge to plank. Three, two, one. One foot forward. Press and lunge, plant, switch. Reaching tall with the arms. Hit a really nice crescent lunge. Abs should be tight, back should be straight. You can drop that back knee close to the floor if it gives you more length in the lunge. Eight seconds. You got three, two, one. Rest. Breathe. All right. So we're basically down on the mat for the rest of this pyramid. Five more levels. Plank jack, shoulder taps coming up. We start in 10. Meet me down on the mat. Plank jack, shoulder tap in five, three, two, one. Let's go. So as you take the shoulder tap, think about keeping your hips square to the floor. That requires you to squeeze to the core. We don't want to dip side to side in the shoulder tap. In 10 seconds, we flip to our butt, straight arm sit up, table reach. Three, two, one, flip it over. Sit up, plant. Reach. So get the butt high before you reach. It's going to maximize your core in terms of range of motion. You've got 10 seconds and we switch. Candlestick whew, to chair pose. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Straight legs up. Find your chair. Roll down, straight legs, find your chair. Can you hold those legs up at the ceiling for a second before you come back down? Getting height in the hips. In 10 seconds, we flip it over, push up, elbow plank, elbow walk. Three, two, one, flip it over. Knees or toes. Push up, down, down, out, out, in, in, up, up. Lead other side. If you feel like you're doing a lot of rocking side to side, put more distance between your feet or your knees. In five seconds, crescent lunge plank. Three, two, one. One foot forward, crescent lunge, plant and switch. So really strong core. It's going to lift the upper body. You got to squeeze your glutes. So you got a nice base of support as you lift the hands. 10 seconds. Rest is coming team. Right to the finish here for five, three, two, one. Rest. Woo! You got four more levels and seven more minutes. You have come so far. Keep pushing. Grabbing some water here. We start with a straight arm sit up, table reach. Come down to the floor. We start in five, three, two, one. Let's go. Sit up, table reach. Last time with these, think about crunching ribs to hips as you take that sit up. Lifting the hips super high to the ceiling and then reach for that toe. In 10 seconds, candlestick, chair pose. 
five, three, two, one. Straight arms, straight legs. Find that momentum. Whip it up into chair. And remember the option to take out chair. If you're doing chair, I want you to stay low. Keep the legs together. More than halfway. On deck. Push up, elbow plank, elbow walk out. Five, three, two, one. Flip it over. Find that high plank, push up, down, down, out, out. In, in, up, up. Push up, other side. Remember, you can take this entire movement from your knees if it's too much on your toes. In 10 seconds, crescent lunge to plank. You're getting there. Three, two, one. One foot forward, hit that lunge. If you haven't tried the hopping yet, try it out. It's a nice way to get a little bit of cardio in as we finish up each level. It's gonna work your core a little bit more, gonna work your shoulders a little bit more. 10 seconds. You got five, three, two, one, rest. Woo! Three more levels. Candlestick chair pose. So you got 15 more seconds of rest. Ten seconds, let's take it down to the mat. We go in five, three, two, one, let's go. Rock the feet up, find your chair, rock your feet up, and reach. So do what works for you. Last time, if you haven't tried whew, the push up to chair yet, try it. It is really hard if you don't use your hands, but you can do it. Got a little hop at the end. You got five seconds. Push up, elbow plank, walk out. Three, two, one. Flip it over. Really strong push ups here. Down, down, out, out, in, in, up, up. When you plant your hand to push back up to high plank, it goes right under the shoulder where that elbow was. In eight seconds, crescent lunge plank. Three, two, one, switch it up. Find that crescent lunge. 30 seconds here, taking this level to the finish line. We got 20 seconds. 15. Keep pushing. Just five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Two more levels. This is it. Keeping it down on the mat. You've got less than three minutes, and this is over, all right? Push up, elbow plank, walk out is next. Make it your strongest set. If you haven't done a push up from your toes yet, try it. We go in 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Push up, down, down, out, out, in, in, up, up, and push up. You're halfway through this set. These should be your strongest push ups. You got rest right before this. Make it count. In five seconds, crescent lunge plank. Three, two, one. Switching up that move, 30 seconds here. Can you add the plank hop? Nice and light as you switch the feet. 15 to go. So if you're on the same song I am, we have hit the cool down, but we are still working. 
five, four, three, two, one, press. You've got one more move to go. This is mind over matter. So even though that music is slowing down, you are not. One more set of those crescent lunge planks. We don't need music to power through. This is a mind game. Rise to meet the challenge. Take it down the mat. We're starting in 10 seconds. Your last move, crescent lunge plank. Hit it and hit it hard. We go in five, three, two, one. Let's go. Crescent lunge and switch. It is 30 seconds. Can you do the plank hop every rep? 20. You are sprinting to the finish here. It is right there. You have 10 seconds. Keep moving. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Grab in your water, take it to the mat. We're gonna stretch it out. So that pyramid was 40 minutes and it was a ton of work. You should feel so proud of yourself. There is a ton of sweat all over my floor. I hope the same for you. <laughs> Make sure you hydrate and we'll take our stretch. All right, knees wide. Take your butt back to your heels, hands forward. Forehead to the mat, just breathe. Take the right arm up to the ceiling and then thread it under the left arm, dropping your right cheek to the mat. Return that arm to front. Switching sides, left arm up. Thread it under the right arm, left cheek down to the mat. Bring that arm forward. Just breathe here and bring yourself up to tabletop. Bring the left foot between your hands. Bring the right knee back a little bit further, flipping onto the top of your right foot and come up to a runner's lunge with your hands on your front knee. Sink into this. You want to sink forward and down. Tall posture. Left foot is forward, right hand plants, spinal twist towards the knee. Frame the front foot with both hands. Send your butt back towards your back foot and straighten the front leg. You should feel a stretch to your hamstring. And we're gonna switch legs. Left knee down, right foot forward. You want to be on the top of your back foot, coming up to that runner's lunge, hands to the front knee, sinking forward and down. You're feeling this through the hip flexor of the back leg. The right foot is forward, plant the left hand, spinal twist towards the front knee, look up your outstretched arm. Framing the front foot with both hands, Sit your hips back, straighten that front leg. And release. Come to sitting on your butt, bringing your legs out in front of you. Bring the right leg over the left. I want you to hug your right quad into your chest. So you should be feeling the stretch in your right glute. If your foot doesn't touch the ground on this side, that's okay. You want it just a nice tight hug on your leg. And let's switch that up. So the left leg comes across, hugging the left quad into your chest. And release. Taking both legs out in front of you. Press them out away, sit up nice and tall. Hands overhead and grab your toes. And release. 
crossing your legs, sitting up nice and tall. Take one arm across, taking a shoulder stretch here. You want to draw your shoulder away from your ear. Tricep stretch on that side, reaching down your back. Neck is loose. And let's take a shoulder stretch on the other side. Same thing, pulling the shoulder away from the ear. Tricep stretch. Reaching down the back, pulling on that elbow. Release. Taking your left hand outside your right knee, spinal twist to the back. Come through center, switching sides. And come back to center. Let's finish with two deep breaths together. Open the palms to the ceiling. Taking a big inhale up. Exhale, let it go. One more time, open palms. Inhale the hands up. Exhale the hands to heart center. And give yourselves a round of applause. Great job today, everybody. My name is Caroline. This was a sweaty, sweaty power pyramid. Thank you for joining me. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday. And I hope to see you next week. Bye, everybody.